Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just an adorkable couple in love that loves reaction to some Avatar. It's been a while since you used that one. It has been, you know? Yeah. So you got to bring it in, uh, in the mix a little bit more. So this is Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, season one, episode nine, um, or eight, sorry. Yeah, I just, met, you know. Jumping ahead. Out. Jumping ahead, yeah. Uh, if you want all our reactions to this series, check out the description of this video for a playlist. And if you want early ad-free access, you can get a month ahead or more, and you can also get full watch-along reactions, depending on which tier you sign up for, on Patreon. Link is in the description of this video. Go yeah. ahead and check that out. Yeah, and there's one more problem. The island is in the Fire Nation. It's a big problem. Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, he says it like it's just like, oh, you know, we don't have a bus schedule. Like, no, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit bigger than that. Let's go, Appa. Come on, boy. <sighs> Want to stay? Look, I'm sorry, but Katara and Sokka aren't coming to the Fire Nation with us. If they got hurt, I'd never forgive myself. So get your big butt off the ground and let's go! <laughs> That's a no. Please don't go, Aang. The world can't afford to lose you to the Fire Nation. Neither can I. But I have to talk to Avatar Roku to find out what my vision means. We're not letting you go into the Fire Nation, Aang. At least not without your friends. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> You'll have to fly fast to have any chance of making it before sundown. Thank you for your. Go! <sighs> Having trouble sleeping? Seen the Avatar lately? Come on, boy, we've got a long way to go. <laughs> Fine, he's so reluctant. Of all the foolish things you've done, this is the most foolish. Have you completely forgotten that the Pyre Lord banished you? I'm chasing the Avatar. My father will understand why I'm returning home. You give him too much credit. Hmm. My brother is not the understanding type. Helms me! Full steam ahead! Aang, we got trouble! Yeah! And it's gaining fast! Get a little bit higher above the clouds. Oh my god, don't you dare hurt Appa. Fire! Fireball! I'm on it! That was close. Mm -hmm. Can't you make Appa go any faster? Yeah, but there's just one little problem. A blockade. Oh, shit. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks. This is exactly why I didn't want you to come. It's too dangerous. And that's exactly why we're here. <laughs> yeah. Appa, yip yip. He's not turning around. Please, Prince Zuko. If the Fire Nation captures you, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, Uncle. Run the blockade! <sighs> Ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> or stupid. Commander Zhao, what are your orders? Fire. Shoot the bison down, Captain. But there's a Fire Navy ship out there, sir. So be it. After he whipped oh his butt, God. there's no Appa. way he was gonna. We need some fire or some air bending power, like right now. I don't know. Papa doesn't seem worried. He's just like casually dodging all those. His fur is singed. Help him. <laughs> there you go. Papa, are you okay? Yeah, whatever. He's like, this is why I didn't want to come. <laughs> no, you wouldn't listen. Ooh, direct hit. We need to stop and make repairs. Do not stop this ship. Okay, when you're going one-on-one -on -one against that guy, I get it, but like. Your ship versus entire fleet? No way. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that would be scary as hell. Huh, wanna fish? <laughs> yeah, well, good job, Momo. Nice catch. Oh my god, Appa. Appa's about to mess you up. Appa's not violent. Yep, there we go. There we go, Aang. Hell yeah. Good job. We made it! We got into the Fire Nation. Great. <laughs> Where do you think the Avatar is headed, sir? I'm not sure. But I bet a certain banished prince will know. Hey, the ship is so much smaller. Party is ready to apprehend Prince Zuko, sir. Cut the engines and let them pass, sir. Do you want to follow yeah. him? You're not as good as you think you are, kid. 
They let that happen. <sighs> Stubborn fool. <laughs> there it is! The island where Roku's dragon took me! <laughs> Your oh. belly rubs. You must be tired. No! I'm good. Refreshed and ready to fight some firebenders. I was talking to Appa. Yeah. Well, I was talking to Momo. <laughs> I mean, Sokka did almost like fall to his death, so. Yeah, but he lived. Asking how he is, like, you know, or like, he's tired. No, Appa's the priority. Appa's forever singed. Putting his ears down. <laughs> Momo's ears. Wait, I think I heard something. Are the fire sages, guardians of the temple of the Avatar? I am the Avatar. We know. <gasps> I'll hold them off. Run! Cool. So fire sages are mm -hmm. next too. Nice to know there's consistency in this world. No telling how powerful the boy will become. Split up and find him. Follow me. Do you know where you're going? Nope. <laughs> Wrong way. Run! Run! Yeah! I don't want to fight you. I am a friend. Firebenders aren't our friends. You shot fire at him. I know why you're here, Avatar. You do? You wish to speak to Avatar Roku. See, there are good ones. The Uncle Iroh is one. This guy. Nice trick. Mm -hmm. Find him. Go, what choice do you have? Yeah, move. You could nod once you're in the door. <laughs> What's he up to, Uncle? Why didn't Commander Zhao arrest me? Because he wants to follow you. If Zhao wants to follow our trail of smoke, then that's exactly what I'll let him do. Did you know Avatar Roku? No, but my grandfather knew him. All have a strong spiritual connection to this place. Is that how you knew I was coming? A few weeks ago, an amazing thing occurred. The statue of Avatar Roku. Its eyes began to glow. This is the Avatar's temple. Why did the sages attack me? In the past, the sages were loyal only to the Avatar. When Roku died, the sages eagerly awaited for the next Avatar to return. It never came, yeah. They were Got waiting jaded. for me. Hey, don't feel bad. You're only a hundred years late. <laughs> when Fire Lord Sozin began the war, my grandfather and the other sages were forced to follow him. I never wanted to serve the Fire Lord. I knew I would have to betray the other sages. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. What's going to happen to him, though? Yeah. Shai, what's wrong? The sanctuary doors. They're closed. Can't you just open them with fire bending? Like you opened that other door? That we need all five. Only a fully realized avatar is powerful enough to open this door alone. Uh -huh. The sages must open the doors together with five simultaneous fire blasts. I think I can help you out. Hey, Sokka! Big idea. Now we'll follow the smoke trail while I use it as a cover. This is a little trick I picked up from my father. Seal the lamp oil inside an animal skin casing. Lights the oil soaked twine and ta-da! You've really outdone yourself this time, Sokka. Yeah. Hell yeah, Sokka. Are you ready? Definitely. Uh, it was a good idea, though. Mm-hmm. Good try. nothing else we can do. I'm sorry I put you through all this for nothing. I don't get it. That blast looked as strong as any firebending I've seen. Sokka, you're a genius! Wait, how is Sokka a genius? <laughs> His plan didn't even work. Come on, Aang. Let her dream. But it looks like it did. Oh, so we're gonna go in after him. Yep. How did he get in? I don't know, but look at the scorch marks. And down there. Open the doors immediately before he contacts Avatar Rope. That's the snake door in the Chamber of Secrets. Oh. <laughs> We've been tricked. Yeah, Momo. No, Momo. Aang, now's <clears throat> your chance. The Avatar's. Shit. Close the doors quickly. No, Aang, come on, do something. There you go. Yeah, go, dude. You just gotta get in there. He's trying. <sighs> Damn. Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. Why isn't it working? 
working. It's sealed shut. Avatar Roku doesn't want us inside. Ha! <laughs> good. It's good to see you, Aang. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in an iceberg. Why did you help the Avatar? Because it was once the Sage's duty. It is still our duty. What a moving and heartfelt performance. Commander Zhao. And Prince Zuko. It was a noble effort. But your little smoke screen didn't work. You're too late, Zhao. The Avatar's inside and the doors are sealed. Sooner or later, he has to come out. Damn, got him with logic. One hundred years ago, Fire Lord Sozin used that comet to begin the war. He hmm. and his firebending army harnessed its incredible power and dealt a deadly first strike against the other nations. So the comet made them stronger? Yes, stronger than you could even imagine. But that happened a hundred years ago. What does the comet have to do with the war now? Listen carefully. Sozin's comet will return by the end of this summer. And Fire Lord Ozai will use its power to finish the war once and for all. Aang, you must defeat the Fire Lord before the comet arrives. But I have to use Fire Lord Warbin. Stirring the elements takes years of discipline and practice. You must do it by summer's end. <laughs> okay, sure. Here's an impossible task of luck. What if I can't master all the elements in time? What if I fail? I know you can do it, Aang. You have done it before. A great danger awaits you at the temple. I can help you face the threat, but only if you are ready. Hell yeah. I'm ready. Oh. But they're not ready. Unleash hell, Aang. No! <laughs> Don't worry. He's fine. Yeah. Oh! Nice. He's pissed. Mm -hmm. Nice. Avatar Roku is going to destroy the temple. We have to get out of here. Not without A. I mean, all things considered, I think he's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And there's lava shooting up from the floor, so that's gonna kind of a big problem. He talked with Roku. He's cool with him. <laughs> your back. Thanks. Where are you? I don't know. You guys need Appa. Yeah, like Roku didn't tell you the best way to get out of there. There you go. Good job, Momo. Appa knows what's up. Knows when you're in danger and need him. Bye, Temple. Mm -hmm. No prince, no avatar. The only thing I do have is five traitors. But Commander, only Shayu helped the Avatar. You are all guilty. Well, I hope you're happy with your loyalty. <laughs> it's obviously paying off. Yep. That was awesome, seeing Roku come out there. And um, it gets to me like he was a kind of like took over Yang's body or whatever, or like, you know, yeah, uh, that's how he manifested himself. But like he thought, like it was cool because he thought it was gonna be Aang, like you saw Aang light up. You're like, okay, so Aang's gonna come out here and, and mess some stuff up. But then it was Roku and um, very impressive and just destroyed the temple. And, okay. So strategically, as someone who's not a fan of the Fire Nation right now, with the exception of the prince's uncle, um, what I took away from this was just the division within the fire nation yeah um you know there was the sages versus the generals people um and even though they were on the same side there was not a lot of appreciation for that from the general side as as they came into the temple it was sort of like you know we're taking over mm -hmm. and then further at the at the back end of everything once it's all wrapping up the episode he's just like i don't care if it's one of you who helped Aang. You're all screwed. I'm turning you all in. Loyalty does not pay off. Uh, so I was, because I'm not happy with the Fire Nation, I was very pleased to see that division and the fact that the loyalty was not rewarded. And Sokka coming out with that uh, great plan. I mean, it, even though it didn't work, I was impressed that like he had uh, he had come up with it and thought to to do that. Um, so you know he's going to have some good uh, battle strategy going forward. Um, 
Yeah. So I just, I, you know, we, we give Sokka, oh, I mean, it's, it was like after like only after two episodes and we really started to like, you know, get more on board with, uh, with, with Sokka. Um, so got to shout out his, uh, his good moments or his great moments. I mean, to be fair, we gave him shit when he deserved it. Yeah. And, and so we will now give him credit when he deserves it. True. Sure. I definitely thought it was a brilliant plan. Really thought it was going to work. It didn't. But I love that it was the teamwork between him and Katara that came mm-hmm. up with the execution of the one plan and then the ability to turn it around to still be useful even when it didn't work in the way that they expected it to, um, you know, and to turn it around into a deception. I just thought their working off of each other was fantastic and both of them being able to think outside of the box. Because the obvious thing is mm-hmm. you need five fire sages to do this. Well, Sokka thought outside the box and was like, well, what if we just kind of blow shit up yeah. together and that maybe mimics it. Trick it into, yeah. Into- which was brilliant. And then Katara would be like, not defeated by the lack of effectiveness of it, but to be like, actually, this can work. So again, thinking outside the box into like a new way of seeing it. Um, just overall, very impressed by the two of them. And then Momo. Momo! Just being there. Uh, standing his ground and then lunging right away. <laughs> Momo for the win. Yeah. Tiny little guy's full of bravery. Yes, he is. For sure. No pressure on Aang at all. Jesus. Things that normally take a year to master, like no. each one. Years. Yeah. Zzz. Okay, There's years. S out there. Years. Yeah. To master each element, each bending. And he's got to do it all like before the summer? Before the summer ends which kind of implies that summer's almost upon us yeah well that was winter solstice um then yeah it'll be like i don't know probably like that's usually like late december so he's got like six months seven months something like that yeah as if he didn't have enough pressure already for such i mean i know he's 100 years old but he's still a kid yeah i mean the opening of this, we've always been like, oh, sure, no pressure, Aang, as they like tell mm-hmm. us the story because it's immense pressure. Oh, I believe Aang's going to save the world. Great. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Putting the pressure of Superman onto this, what, like 10-year-old kid? I don't know how old he is, but like he's not old enough. Um, and then on top of that, to add to it, oh, by the way, that thing that you need to save the world, all that power, yeah, learn it in a few months. Ready, set, go. I love how Appa just stays even keel the entire time. Like, you know, didn't he did wait well, he, he was cute when he didn't want to go or whatever. And then like fireballs are getting launched left and right and center all over him and just casually dodging, like, whatever, okay, it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna make it out of this. Um, yeah, not really like no change in like expression at all. Um, still looking like kind of like, almost like sleepy. Um so the belly rubs uh, were definitely deserved after that. Absolutely deserved. Yeah. Yeah. Appa and Momo really showed up in this episode. Yeah. Momo always shows up. Yeah. <laughs> so does Appa. Appa does too. Okay. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad-free access or to see our full watch-along reactions, then check out the description of this video for a link to Patreon. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode 8. But just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.